So I guess me and Ms. Mondragon, Brenda Mondragon, are in a fight again. I um, have let people know that I take on any fraud that I might find, especially in the chiropractic industry. And in that the chiropractic industry is predominantly made up of fraud, I'm going to be calling out quite a few. Anyway, right now I'm calling out Brenda Mondragon. And uh, just going to say that uh, the step that you took to take down my criticism regarding your peach was a mistake. Yeah. I am a reference librarian. That's what I do. I find people. And I also win arguments, ride bucking bulls. And as I told the world regarding Shelly Mondragon, this is not my first radio. So I've got quite a bit of information that should we end up in court that uh, you're going to look like a whore, quite frankly. So, let me just put it to you this way. It seems to me like maybe you want to talk nice to me. This red hair you see is real, okay? Never had my hair dyed in my entire life, not even once. And uh, I am the expert that you need to be consulting in order to get your own health. And if you had enough sense and set down your anger for a minute, you might realize that. And as far as your patients are concerned, what I have found repeatedly is that I'll work on the doctors, including the owners of the clinics, and uh, they'll ultimately block me from their patients. The only time that that didn't happen was down in Oklahoma City. I worked in the Acupuncture College of America, worked there on a Wednesday, about three months, and ultimately their big building, their big huge office space of about a block big wide whatever hour it was huge they had to downsize into a cracker box because i fixed their patients and i told them coming in the door i said you're gonna have to think outside the box because if i find what i think i'm going to i said i'm gonna fix this problem and you're gonna have to get repeat i mean your repeat business is gonna fall off which it did so you're gonna have to think outside the box in order to bring in new clients i don't think they believe me and ultimately what I said came true. So I have something that's that good. In fact, I have to throw freight in a warehouse in order to support myself because people don't understand the value of what it is that I've got. They don't understand it. When I've got idiots like Johnson making $500 and up, you know, I should be getting $1,000 just to start out. Grandpa got fees of $2,500 and up in 1985. Now, honestly, I should be getting five grand on the table before I ever even touch somebody. I'm that good. You, being a licensed chiropractor, and the resources that you have are in a position that if you were to actually work with me on the project that I am currently on, and what I'm on, the project I'm on right now, is I'm gearing up to shut down the industry. It's time to enact the sunset, the sunset law. If you were to get involved in that, you don't need a license. And if you were to have me covering you and my title on you, you don't need a license. No. If I was pointing the way to you and you've got what you've got, you're going to be raking in the bucks. I guarantee you. We both benefit from it. And the world at large would finally have access to the work, the one field that they are ultimately entitled to. It's their birthright, and it works better than anything you've got. And I know that you know that chiropractic doesn't work. I know you know. Yeah.